What's up YouTube? Um, today I'm going to show you how you can set up iNav for iPod Touch on all the newer firmware versions. If you s if you saw my earlier version, it was set up on the 2.2.1 firmware and since then it has many people have reported problems saying that it doesn't work and I'm just going to show you how this is done on an iPod Touch 3rd generation on 3.1.3 firmware. Now, the very first step is open up Rock or Cydia, whatever you use to install your packages. And then once that is open, you'll need to download these things. The first step is to open up the iBlink app that you downloaded, and this will allow you to create blank see-through apps. You only create a total of 63, so keep pressing the right button combination to add up to a total of 63. Once it's done, when you press home, it should do a respring, and after that your springboard will probably start looking very weird, but that's fine, it's all part of the setup. Okay, now the next step is to open up the Categories app that you have downloaded. And here at the top, if you hit manage, and then you're going to want to hit edit and add, and make two folders exactly like I have there, one called apps, one called games, with the A capital on apps and the G capital on games. And inside there, you're going to want to put all of your apps or games according to which one you think it is, except for the following. Your mail app, your Safari internet browser your music and video apps, your photos app, and you want to make sure that the new folders you create you don't actually put one inside the other, and your settings app. Here I'm just creating a test um, folder, you don't actually want to create this, I'm just showing you. Here it'll ask you to pick an icon for your folder, that does not matter because your theme will end up changing it anyways, so you can just pick any random one. Now you hit back and then hit um, respring. Okay, now your springboard is going to start looking pretty weird, but this is the way you want to set it up. You want to take ten blank, ten of the blank apps you created and put them on each page. But there's going to be three left over. You want to put those three in the dock. Now, after um, each of the ten apps, you're going to want to put one of the apps that were not put in the categories after them in this order on the first page you're going to want to put the mail app on the second page your safari app on your third page your music and video app um, that will be turned into iPod after you set your theme on the fourth page your photos app fifth page the games category you created and on your sixth page the apps category that you created so you should have a total of six pages ten blank icons on each then um, your app after that, and then three of the blank icons in the dock, and your settings app on the far right of the dock. This is it where the multi-icon mover comes extremely handy. So this is what your springboard should look like once you've got it basically all set up, and there is what the dock should look like. In the folder you downloaded, there should be four files. The only one you even need to worry about is the iPod Beta 1.0 iNav theme folder. Now inside there is the actual theme, and there is one customization choice you have. The wallpaper originally comes with, right above the email, it says two big TTs. Um, you can change that by, if you go into the README, then the folder Remove TT right there, you right click on that, hit copy, go back to the theme, and you just paste it in there and um, copy over the original one, which is what I have done also. Okay, now you're going to want to open up your SSH and navigate to var slash stash slash themes. And then here is where you're going to want to drag over that inav beta 1.0 
into there and you will hit copy right there okay now you're gonna wanna open up your winter board go to select themes and you're going to want to apply no undocked icon labels transparent dock the mobile music player flip that you downloaded and then your actual theme go back press respring and now here it is um, see there on my lock screen that weather thing does not come with a theme that's something extra I have installed one last thing um, your iPod app will accidentally show up on the same page as your Safari so you just gotta get that and drag it over to its proper place Alright guys, thanks for watching and be sure to comment with any questions. Thanks.